you find me? Don't answer that. It's about time someone came to see me. I've been lonely these past few months. But that's besides the point. The only reason why anyone would seek out the help of Dr. Harvey Wallbanger is that you've got a problem of the more supernatural nature. Don't worry, you're in the right place. Stick with me. I'll keep you safe. So what's the deal? Poltergeist in the TV, pod people, cursed videotape, the spirit of a notorious serial killer trapped inside of a kid's toy who continuously tries to transfer his soul into human form. I've seen stranger things. Hey look, I'm not saying I can't help you. I'm saying I'm gonna damn well try. See, I specialize in inebriants imbued with the power to deter evil and malicious forces in this world. And it's up to you to use them properly. There's something that a person finds out about themselves when staring down the muzzle of a topiary lion come to life with murderous rage. Do I fight or do I flee? I'm an occult scientist, a dream weaver, and I'm a fighter. I can show you how to be like me. Can't say it's gonna be easy. In fact, I've got a three tier system. Super simple solutions. You can make these on the fly given the right ingredients. Mega tasty concoctions. These require some time and effort to make and ultra fancy libations. Only the most willful among you are able to make these powerful beverages. But before we make these astounding libations, we have to do some prep. Okie dokie, let's get started. We're gonna wax seal a vessel so that we can use it to fend off the curse of the mummy's tomb. Melt 100 grams of food grade beeswax over a gentle simmering bain-marie. As this is melting, put a thoroughly clean and dried empty bottle into a low heat oven. Stir the wax until completely liquid and then fetch the heated bottle from the oven using heat proof gloves. Carefully pour in the liquid wax, replace the cap, slowly rotate and upend the bottle until the wax begins forming a thin film on the inside of the vessel. Keep moving until all the wax is set. Try not to move too quickly as this will trap air inside the setting wax and ruin the finish. This can take some time, but this is the first part of the ritual. Be patient, Padawan. Leave this to cool completely. This is the first part of the ritual complete. So in the meantime, let me show you something else. Werewolves are a nuisance, rummaging in the bins at night, swearing, eating the parakeets in the park, and of course, keeping everyone up at night with their incredible dancing and basketball skills. For a brief reprieve of this menace, we need a weapon. A silver bullet. To make this, in a jar or shaker, add 20 millilitres of freshly pressed lemon juice, 40 millilitres of Porter's modern classic gin, and 30 millilitres of Wolfschmidt Kummel. This is a traditional Dutch caraway liqueur. Add plenty of ice and shake hard until frosty. Strain into a coupe or cocktail glass and garnish with a squeeze of lemon zest. This drink is somewhat like a gimlet which has been imbued with the mentholic anise-like kummel. This bright and fresh inebriant should alleviate the symptoms of your pursuant lycanthrope. The tricky bit is getting the beast to imbibe. This is a silver bullet and it may well save your life. Tired of doing this when there's no cross lying around? Me too. The following recipe was found in the Belmont family archives and it's remarkably effective at repelling creatures of the night. To make this libation, to a large mixing glass or jar, add 90 milliliters of Calvados. This is a delicious apple brandy from France. 60 milliliters of Campari, that bittersweet Italian liqueur. 30 milliliters of Chambéry Zette a beautiful strawberry vermouth. 30 milliliters of Cocky Rosa, which has floral rose notes as well as gentian bitterness. 30 milliliters of Baldoria Rosso, a delightfully herbaceous Italian sweet vermouth. Not many people know this about me, but I keep a good stock of holy water at all times. 
maybe you should too. Add in 30 milliliters of holy water. To double down on the blessing, I'm going to further infuse the whole thing with my trusty Palo Santo wooden cross. For those of you not accustomed to the holy wood, it has an amazing tropical green, coconutty aroma and flavor. Give the whole thing a swirl, say seven Hail Marys, and leave to infuse for one hour. Once rested, pour into a blessed quarter bottle and refrigerate until sunset. Or keep it on you, just in case. But right now, we've got more work to do. This recipe comes from on-again, off-again colleague, Professor Higgins of Hatchetfield College. Although I haven't heard from him since he was struck by lightning some years ago. The aim here is to replicate the conditions and materials used for the murderous monster to become mummified in the first place. The details are somewhat vague, but they start by adding to a backpack bag two grams of fancy sea salt, five grams of propolis. This is a wondrous material produced by bees which has healing properties and a resinous, bitter taste. 20 grams of premium olive oil. Used in embalming, this will add a fuller mouthfeel. 10 grams of crushed cassia. 100 grams of fine honey. A local honey from Bermondsey Street Bees, it's rather grassy and bright. 100 grams of Beaumont 12 year old, a delightful smoky Isla Scotch that was likely drunk by Carter and Carnarvon on their fateful expedition. 400 grams of Glasshouse Whiskey, it's a delicious Highland blended Scotch with apple and toffee notes. Seal the bag and give the ingredients a massage, somewhat like a cat would do on a squishy cushion. Once the honey has incorporated into the liquid, put the whole lot in a 60 degree water bath for 90 minutes. Just enough time for a mug of Bovril, some cheesy watsits, and a bowl of super noodles. Once the ingredients come out of the water bath, give the whole lot a rub down in a nice shiatsu. Let it cool completely before putting in the freezer for four hours. Now while that's in the deep freeze, I need to show you something. Now that the blessed quarter bottle has had time to chill and marry in the back of the fridge, it's about time to serve this sucker. This beverage has the power to repel ghouls, including the children of Vlad Tepes, commonly known as vampires. Simply pour into a frozen fancy glass. One sip of this blessed bittersweet beverage is enough to fortify your flesh and turn your blood from insatiable ambrosia to boiling lava for the blood-sucking creatures of the night. Now you too can party in underground nightclubs whilst listening to New Order remixes without the fear of being eaten alive by nightwalkers. This is a wooden cross and it will protect you. Okay, steal yourself. We will need every ounce of willpower in order to perform this ancient ritual. As you can see, I've clarified this inebriant by passing the frozen batch through two layers of coffee filters in the fridge overnight. It's ready to go. I've gone to the trouble of etching ancient Sumerian binding spells on the wax vessel that we made earlier, as well as protected Ojat eye. That should do it. We start the ritual by lighting two black candles and then bestowing the Ankh or Key of Life. Key, key, key of Life, Key of Life? Key, ah, the Key of Life upon the vessel. Souls cannot be destroyed, but they can be transferred. And then we chant the incantations of the Book of the Dead. The incantations, incantations, incantations. Oh yes, so it goes. Kadishma, Kadishma, Paradus, Paradus. And so, it is done. Now we need the shambling mess to drink it. Undead mummies are a real pain. Not only are they completely impervious to weapons, but they stink up the place no end. This beverage will certainly give them something to worry about. Simply pour out the liquid into a cold glass over plenty of ice. If you are feeling fancy, garnish with a nice lemon twist. It's somewhat like a mummified old fashioned. It has plenty of resinous bitter notes with a lick of smoke 
and a hint of spice. The longer the bottle rests, the more powerful it will become. You see, as the shambling undead consumes this libation, the vessel consumes its tortured soul to fill the bottle once again. And that's how you defeat a mummy. Just as long as no one opens the vessel again. Jesus Christ! Well, hopefully now you know how you too can be a force for good. This All Hallows' Eve, protect yourself from the forces of darkness and the creatures of evil. Thank you for watching. I do everything for the pursuit of enjoyment and fun. We cannot let those dark forces take that away from us. If you enjoyed my humble dream palace, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I hope to see you soon, but not too soon. And remember, take it easy. Be good. I love you. Bye.